Well, hey, my friends, welcome to another Backstage Pass here inside Created to Thrive. You're going to love uh, my conversation with Lisa today because she has had some major, major breakthroughs since she's come into the program and not been in that long, not even a year yet. Lisa, I am super excited that you're here. So welcome to, to Backstage Pass. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. We were just talking about how much fun we both had at the Mastermind event <laughs> that was back in back in March and, and both still in, in the glow of that. I know that some folks may have met you there, but for some folks that are just getting to know you, why don't you give us the, the thumbnail sketch of who you are, where you are in the world, what you do creatively, and then we'll kind of jump into a little bit of your, of your story. So my name is Lisa Kozel Mangione. And uh, I am a nautical marine artist. So basically anything to do with the ocean or, mm. or the beach is what I really love uh, to paint. And it's kind of, I've got salt in my veins. So it just <laughs> kind of goes with me. Um, and that's what the, where the Lord kind of takes me with my art. Uh, I, I'm a watercolorist, uh, oil and acrylic painter. And I live in Maryland. Cool. So you're right next to the water. You loved it. Did you grow up there? And is that kind of, you said it's in your blood. So I'm assuming you're from there for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I actually, my parents uh, used to take me camping down on the Eastern shore in Virginia and we would go fishing and crabbing. And I was always digging for shells. And, you know, um, I, I, when I first started painting, my mom was a commercial artist for Sears when they hand drew the, the ads for, for, um, the, the, you know, the ads and wow. every week. And so then my, and my great grandfather was actually a lithographer for, um, the U S mint. So oh my, my mom would go visit him and she'd sit on his lap and he'd draw like a, you know, a $5 bill with Mickey mouse in the middle. And he'd say, okay, <laughs> you can't take this out of the house. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I'm very blessed. It, it, uh, artistically runs in my family. And, um, so I'm very, very lucky with that. And, and, um, God's been really good to me. Yeah, absolutely. So I know you've been in the program since October, 2021. Um, what was life kind of like before that? Were you doing art as a hobby, selling some of your work full time? What, what's that journey look like for you? Yeah, so I, I still work full time. So I'm kind of trying to squeeze my art business in at night and on the weekends. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of people do that and it's, it's not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I be, keep praying that God's going to deliver that, deliver me of that soon. But um, I know I'm on this journey. But yeah, I, I, I actually did the Facebook freebie. Yeah. that you that you offered and I, and I did that for I think it's a week right uh -huh, it's a right. Week. artists rise up and right. then uh, at the end of that you know or during that you had said something about well you really need to be honing your skills and so I thought well you know I really don't like oils and I it's never been my thing because I do work full time it's kind of like I needed to be able to have my paint dry so I could do sure. my next layer or, or plan out my painting and so I never did that but then I thought, well, you know, oils are like the cream of the crop. If you know, if you really want to get into um, selling your work and everything, and so I thought there was a local artist who is um, his name's Lee Alban, and he lives about 15 minutes from me. He's internationally known and has won a ton of awards. And there's a lot of local artists that actually um, have tried to get into his classes. Yeah. And so I thought, oh, I really respect him. And I mean, what do I have to lose? Yeah, you know, sure. I'm going to leave this in God's hands and put it at Jesus' feet and we'll see what happens. So I, I looked up his website and I sent him an email. And then the next day he wrote back and he said that his uh, wife, who would kind of helps him to manage his business, um, he, he had gone to her and said is you know what's going on with our class class members and is there anybody that hasn't come in a long time and all that and so he wound up having a spot open on a Saturday morning which is what I needed because I wow. work full time <laughs> and he and he and he had one opening and I and so he wrote, he wrote back and he said yeah he said I actually have one opening on Saturday morning so I said oh my gosh I'll take it you know and so he, I started going to his classes at, um, right at the beginning of October also. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then he showed me how to mix my own oil paints. And so it, it dries overnight wow. and it's, it's wow. amazing. 
So I, and you're really connected to the paint then too, because you're, you're mixing it yourself, sure. you know, it's just kind of a neat process um, rather than just squeezing it out of a tube, you know? So, so did you start, um, it sounds like you, you really started making the connection then of like, Hey, this is how the kingdom works. Like I can ask God for something, a door opens. Like, did you start putting those pieces together immediately? Like I did, I did. And, and you know something, Matt, I, I just like, I grew up Christian my whole life. I was yeah. Christian, you know, of course. And, and so, uh, you know, but I just didn't know that the kingdom worked that way. And so, I mean, mind blown, you know what I mean? I was just like, this is amazing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Isn't that amazing? So it, 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 I think the thing that even for me, I mean, years ago when all this started kind of clicking for me, it's like, you start to think, Hey, I can change my normal. Like I've lived like this all these years, but if I just do X, Y, Z, like it can change. And, and then you do yes. it again and you do it again. And I know like mm -hmm. you were in the program for a little while, you wanted to come to mastermind, but it was a, it was an investment, right? I mean, like everything you got to choose and get time off work. I mean, the Lord opened the door for, for that again, huh? Yes, yes, absolutely. I, uh, it was, it is, it is an investment, like you said. And, and so, you know, of course the devil's in your ear saying, oh, you can't do that, or you should do that. You don't know anybody, blah, 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 you know? And I would thought, you know what, I'm just going to, again, put it out there, ask for provision and see what happens. And so I, I wound up praying like on a Monday or Wednesday, I think it was. And then I get paid every other Saturday and so I went in Saturday morning to check, make sure my check went in. Yeah. And I was like, all oh, this extra money was in there. And I was like, where did this money come from? <laughs> so I scroll down and I'm looking in there. And of course my regular check's in there, but then I got a bonus at work. And, yeah, I was, yeah. and it, it paid for everything. It paid for my, my, my two flights down, my two flights back, you know, my hotel, my, my, you know, room and board. And of course the, the cost of the conference and, I mean, I was just like, I cannot believe this is happening. So then, of course, you know, once you get the provision, then you're like, you cannot like say, okay, God, you gave me this. I'm not going to use it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to the conference. <laughs> that is so amazing. I, I can't tell you how many people I've heard that from over the years of they say, yes, they, they step out in faith and they send their heart to do it. And then they just start expecting and looking and they're this supernatural provision and i just think yeah that's how it's supposed to work that's how the kingdom works and then you was it in december so you got in in october then in december you ended up selling nine paintings in in december i mean i it's so funny that you say i mean you put this in the little description here of, of you know before we were talking and uh i was thinking nine paintings i know several other people in the program who've had these breakthrough kind of things with nine paintings and I'm like Lord what is it with nine paintings like this is like so so what was that about I mean because again I'm sure you're probably like I haven't been at this program for like a month like what is going on <laughs> absolutely so so yeah I, I was looking at you know where I was at for the year and how much I had made and how much my you know what my sales goal was and I knew that I was really far off and I, I was just like, dear Lord, I, you know, I really just, I, I want to make my sales goal. Show me. Yeah. And I, you kept saying, show me what's in my hand. And I was like, show me what's in my hand. What am I supposed to do? How do I make this? Yeah. And so he said to me, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who want to buy your art who can't afford the mm -hmm. bigger, nicer pieces that you do. Right. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do smaller pieces like five by sevens and just tried to sell as many as I can. Yeah. And so that's what I did. And wow. so, uh, and I, and actually what I did was I joined um, a, a Facebook group for Anna Maria Island down in Florida. And so what I, when I look for these Facebook groups, I make sure that you can advertise on yeah. them because a lot of them are like, oh, you can't, you know, sure. you can't do that. But this one, as long as it has a connection to Anna Maria, you're allowed to do that. So I thought, okay, I'm going to put all my art on there and see what happens. Yeah. It blew up. I mean, people were just, you know, oh, I'll take that one. I'll take, oh, that one's already gone. I'll take this one. You know what I mean? And so it, I was shipped going to the post office like every other day, shipping more stuff out. <laughs> and it was amazing. And then um, so that worked out really well. And then I wound up still being a smidge short. 
And I prayed again. And I said, you know, I'm not that far off, dear Lord. You know, you, you're taking me this far. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm really close. And so I wound up um, getting other, you know, uh, thought from the Holy Spirit, basically, you know, that my art really is changing now that I'm doing oils. Mm. And so some of the, I, I was doing alcohol inks for a long time yeah. and there was health issues with that. And so I wound up uh, choosing not to do that anymore. And so I still had all this alcohol ink and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do it anymore. It's not really part of what, who I am yeah. now as an artist. So I might as well put it up, you know, for sale and, and try to clear out some inventory. And so that's what I did. And I put that on a local um, site near where I live and again, blew up, you know, and, and so I sold another like three or four pieces through there and I was running out at my lunch hour, like, oh, let me, I'll meet you at the Wawa, you know? I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that, that really, it was, it was crazy, but I was, I was literally like jumping up and down. I was so excited. So yeah, I met my sales goal. Isn't that something? I mean, and, and just the simplicity of asking Holy Spirit, show me how to, how to meet this goal. I mean, again, I love that scripture. In in his heart, a man plans his way. The Lord orders his steps. It's like you planned your way. You had a goal. You're out there doing the stuff, but you hit a roadblock. And instead of just giving up, you just ask, Lord, how do I cooperate with you to, to reach this goal that you've you've put on my heart? And um, I mean, I'm just thinking so it's like right now, it's what? It's April. So we're talking six months or so you've been in the program. I mean, how is this? I mean, I, I can hear the excitement in your voice and everything, but I mean, how is your your whole mindset and your whole approach to what you're doing uh, changing and, and what's what's even happening right now in, in your journey? So, so yeah, I mean, it, 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 you always trust in God. I mean, everybody trusts in God. Everybody trusts, you know, that he's going to provide for you or, or whatever, but I pray differently now. And, and, you know, the way that you taught us to like, thank him, like you've already received it. Yeah. I never did that before you know? And so I, I do that now. I say, you know, thank you, Lord, for, you know, art sales, or thank you for letting me get into this gallery or, or whatever it is that, you know, my business needs and even personally, obviously, but yeah. And uh, so I did have another success. I had sent in a, um, a question and you answered it. I don't know if you'll remember, but I had uh, someone approach me about teaching their daughter art. Right. And she had seen the mother and daughter had seen my art at the local gallery that I'm in. And they were looking for so she was looking for someone to mentor her daughter mm. and someone who was Christian and, you know, had kind of the same belief system, obviously. And and so the gallery manager said and they were drawn to my paintings. And so the gallery manager gave him my business card and said, well, reach out to her. And, yeah. and that's what they did. And the mom called me. I, we had a conversation. And, but then I didn't know what to charge. And that's what I asked you. And, you know, so then you put it out to everybody and they came back with, you know, what they thought I should, you know, I should charge and everything. Yeah. And then uh, and you said eventually at the end, you were like, OK, we'll charge, you know, $60 an hour or $150 for three hours. Right. And um, I got off that call and I was like, that's a lot of money. I don't think she's going to pay that. <laughs> <laughs> For little old me, he's going to pay that, right? <laughs> Orphan mentality. Yeah. Right, right. So, so anyway, I, I send the lady an email and I said, you know, uh, I told her what you had said, not what you said, but yeah. you know, the amount. And so she writes back the next morning. She says, sounds good. Let me know, you know, when we can do that. <laughs> and so now the little girl, she's amazing. She's like a real prodigy and, and such a blessing in my it life. And, and so she comes twice, twice a month. I'll have off every other Friday. She comes when she gets off of school and I spend three hours on a Friday afternoon painting with her. Wow. And it's helped my bottom line, you know, it's $300 a month. Come on. I, I wasn't getting one before. client. Right. And a little bit of belief. Right. <laughs> so, yes. I love it. I love it. Lisa, yeah. what, what would you say to somebody, you know, that's watching this, they're in the program, maybe they're having a bad day. They're like, I got to get some encouragement. I got to watch somebody that's, that's seeing some breakthrough. We've all gone through that. I mean, what would you say to somebody who's on the journey, looking for that breakthrough, wanting to see the type of things that, that you're seeing in your life? How, how would you encourage them today? You know, just don't give up. Like it, it's one of those things where, you know, it's, it's so easy 
it's so easy to just throw the towel in and say, okay, I, I, it's not going to be me. I, I'm not going to be the one who's going to be blessed in that way. And, and that's not how the father thinks. That's, he wants to give yeah. us everything that, that we ask for that's, you know, in alignment with him. And, yeah. and that's just, just the way it is. And, and so believe that, yeah. take that to heart. And really, you know, when you say thank you, mean it from your heart, Yeah. you know, because, you know, it don't just take it as a passing thing that you're talking to God when you're talking to, to yeah. the Holy Spirit, you know, <laughs> and he hears you and he loves you and he wants to give you everything that, that you ask for. That's right. So, so good. Yeah. Well, I love hearing your story. It was a pleasure getting to meet you in person at, at Mastermind. And um, I really appreciate you being on today. I, I know folks so are going to want to connect with you uh, to see your work and that sort of thing. So where's the best place they can see your work, connect with the outside of the program and, and all that sort of thing. Well, my uh, website is saltyroserenderings.com. And then I also have Facebook and Instagram at saltyroserenderings.com. Awesome. So they can reach me there. Great. Thank well, guys, you. definitely click the link that's right here below this video. You can go see all that Lisa is doing. And uh, again, thanks so much for, for being on Backstage Pass and sharing your story. With Thank you. Here. Thank you. I appreciate it.